welcome back to another lippy review. So today we're going to do a Sephora lip balm. We have got the banana one actually right here in my hot little hands. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Mostly because I was sad that the one that came in that Sephora like sampler set was the coconut one and I felt gypped. So I bought myself a banana one because it feels so rare that I see banana pop up in lip balms. So I was like, dude, they have one? I'm going to buy it. Might be good might be disgusting. Unfortunately, I have a feeling it'll probably fall in the latter half since it seems like most banana lip balms just fail and I don't know why. It's such a hard flavor to nail down, but when it's done right, it's so good. But I just have not seen many brands do Oh, that's weird! The cap is made of cardboard, but that's so eco-friendly though. Oh, this is so trippy. It smells so icky. <laughs> Okay, we'll get to that. Alright, well, that is an interesting tube, I have to admit. Ooh, these are made in Italy, apparently. But, uh, format-wise, it's a stick, but the packaging, the whole tube is cardboard. I don't think I've ever seen another brand do that. I mean, obviously, like, the metal part isn't cardboard. That part's metal, but metal, plastic, and then all cardboard and the base is all cardboard and that is such a trip I like that that does make it more recyclable so that's that's nice to see and I mean there's a decent amount of product in there and it's a sturdy enough one to handle going up and down without worrying about it breaking uh, price point this was eight dollars so I'm hoping it doesn't suck but on the other hand given that scent I'm not too hopeful but anyway I don't know if this is synthetic or organic to be totally honest with you I'm gonna take a wild stab that is probably synthetic, but I could be wrong. If anyone knows for sure, let me know down below. Um, not part of a set per se, but it is part of a line of uh, Sephora lip balms that they make. There's quite a few of them, actually. Uh, just, they're pricey at eight bucks a pop, so I mean, not really looking to buy all of them in the same day, but I mean, I could see myself tossing one into different orders just to slowly build the collection if these are okay. But I mean, if between this one, the watermelon one, and that coconut one, the, we know that I'll try once before giving to my mom. If they all suck, maybe I won't bother, but maybe I will. I don't know. We'll find out. So, anyways. Who is honking their horn outside? That's so weird. Just a moment. The plot thickens. No one's out there. So maybe it was next door. <laughs> But I was just like, what the hell? There's no one there. But that was like really loud. But I, I guess I could be a neighbor. I don't know. But anyways. Uh, yeah, so these are not limited edition. They've been selling these for a long time. I don't see them going away anytime soon. Uh, they're not medicated. No SPF. No special features. So let's dive into that scent. Because it's odd. And I don't know if maybe it's picking up some of the cardboard scent of the tube. Because honestly... The closest thing I can compare that smell to is like, you know, envelopes that adhesive you have to lick to seal them? It's kind of like that. It's kind of gross. I'm hoping maybe... Let's see. That. Um, at least it's clear. I wasn't sure if it was going to leave a weird yellowy tint, but uh... Huh. How on earth do they figure banana? No, nope. that's not banana <laughs> on any planet. Holy shit. Nope. Not flavored as banana either. I don't know what crack they're smoking. There is nothing that even remotely resembles banana in the flavor or the scent. I don't know what they're talking about. <sighs> so it's going to get marks down for that. Ugh, it tastes like envelope adhesive, too. This was not worth $8. I want my money back, but, um... Oh, that's vile. That is vile. I am so let down right now. I was really hoping that was going to be nice. Ugh. <laughs> um, Thickness-wise, pretty thin, pretty sticky. Feels like a very cheap lip balm, actually, which, for being $8, I'm a little upset. Cause I paid full price for that. Um, that's quite gluey. 
If I didn't know better, I'd say they melted down a bunch of the envelope adhesive and put it in a tube and called it a lip balm, because, ugh. Ugh. That is not good. Like, who on earth are they kidding? This... This is not banana. Like, no. It's just not. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's gonna absorb. It feels like it's just gonna sit there and be sticky and gross and waxy and smell bad and taste bad. Just, ooh, I'm not enjoying this one at all. <laughs> not to be a hater, but like, really though, it's bad. Um, I'm hoping the longevity is not real great on this just so it's gone, but uh, 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 it's shiny at least. I guess it's got that going for it, but um, and yes, I know I over concealered my nose again because it was all broken out on the end, but hello, mask me. But anyway, um, I'm going to do the drink test. Of course it passed the drink test because I hate it. It had to pass the drink test and stay on perfectly. Ugh. No wow factor for you. So, what am I going to read it? Well, um, while I like what they're doing with the cardboard packaging in theory and in terms of what it does for the environment, the actual uh, sturdiness is compromised there. So on that score, I am docking a point. I feel like it could have been done better even with a cardboard tube. Uh, the price point is way too high for what it is. Like, I wouldn't even expect this to be, like, dollar store level, honestly. It's that bad. Um, it doesn't smell like a banana. It doesn't taste like a banana. The consistency is gluey and gross. No wow factor. Um, doesn't feel like it's gonna absorb or do anything beneficial. Which leaves us with a 3 out of 10, hands down the lowest score that I have given out so far in 2021. I think prior to this, the lowest score I've given out this year has been a 6. So that is bad that that somehow got a 3. I am really bummed. I was hoping that was going to be a lot nicer, but that is just so gross. So yeah, those are my thoughts on this one. Can't wait to wash this off. Ew. <laughs> so anyways, that's it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, bye-bye.